your audio monitors, the only piece of equipment in your studio which actually produces sound, the piece of equipment which influences absolutely every single decision you make in a production. Everything you do, from judging tiny adjustments to mic placement, setting levels, judging EQ corrections, setting up instruments, adjusting effects, every single little audible decision you make in a production is entirely dependent on the feedback your monitors are giving you. And if they aren't giving you faithful feedback, you can't be sure you got it right. So firstly though, what actually makes a great reference audio monitor? We ideally want something that's going to allow us to hear the full frequency spectrum. That is from deep low bass guitars all the way up to tweeting birds. But what's more important than just how low we can hear is how flat the frequency response is, both on and off axis. If you mix on a system that's falsely accentuating the bass, you're more likely than not to send out mixes that end up on other systems playing bass light. Without a flat frequency response, we're only guessing if we made the right decisions at recording and mix down. On a neutral, well calibrated system, we know. Accurate reference monitors should also allow us to discern the exact placement of instruments in stereo space so that we can pan things accurately and there should be such tonal detail in the presentation that we can discern and judge the very quality of reverbs and in terms of bass not just hear the presence and volume of it but the specific tonal characteristic that it has. And if all this is in place, the beauty of it is that we can work faster and more accurately because we've eliminated all the guesswork. So we have a lot of love for the Genelec 8000 series the curvy, ubiquitous Finnish monitor that's been a source of certainty for over a decade and continues to do so daily. We think they're among the most trustworthy monitors that you can buy. But why? Well, we can sum it up in three main points. One, they aim to provide a flat frequency response with neutral, uncolored tonal characteristics so that you can make informed decisions with them. Two, they're designed to work with and adapt to your room because the subtle interaction between a room and the monitors is hugely complex and it plays an immense role in the final result that you get to listen to. And three, they're professional devices built, calibrated and tested by hand in Finland and built to be relied on for professional work. They're made to protect themselves and keep you in business. The Curvy 8000 series design stems back to Harry F. Olsen's remarkable AES paper, Direct Radiator Loudspeaker Enclosures. This was way back in 1950. Olsen noted that in testing a number of different enclosure shapes, a spherical cabinet interacted the least with the driver's response and resulted in possibly the flattest frequency response. Sharp edges in freestanding loudspeakers act like phantom sound sources and they cause ripples in the on and off axis frequency response. This is called diffraction and it's not our friend. The curved body of the 8000, the particular design Genelec dubbed the minimum diffraction enclosure, uses curves to eliminate all edges and so flatten the response of the monitor. This concept extends to the Directivity Control Waveguide, which is the name for the area around the tweeter. The DCW is a highly specific shape and it's different on every single model of the 8000 series. It's been optimized to match the directivity of the tweeter and woofer and it functions to channel the sound directly towards the listener, which maximizes direct sound and avoids unwanted room reflections from nearby boundaries, which would induce ripples into the frequency response. The DCW guide also contributes to one of the 8000 series secret weapons, a very wide sweet spot. The beauty of this is it allows you, the listener, to be outside of the ideal listening position, which is here on the corner of an imaginary equilateral triangle, and you'll find that the tonal balance and neutral sound characteristics remain highly accurate. When you demo 8000 series speakers, try moving side to side during playback and note how consistent it sounds. In a studio, especially mixing on a large console or with a load of equipment, a lot of time gets spent outside of the sweet spot. 
The waveguide means that if you have a Genelec 8000 series, you can make good decisions in spite of that. All 8000 series feature a full set of room correction controls on the rear panel, which are designed to adjust the frequency response of the speaker to counteract certain specific issues that all rooms have, such as accentuating bass if you place them near to a wall or worst in a corner, causing spikes due to the reflections off of your desk. Genelec integrated room response controls into the very first monitor over 35 years ago, and they were one of the first companies to do so. Have a look in the free monitor setup guide to learn how to best use the room correction controls to your advantage. As the guide points out, monitor placement is hugely important, and the included isopod stands allow an 8000 series monitor to be towed in vertically for the best possible response as well as helping them acoustically decouple from their supports. This minimizes low to mid-range coloration, which is created by the mechanical coupling of the monitor and the stand it's on. Around the back of the 8000 series is an output port for a long reflex tube system, which provides bass response that exceeds conventional performance for cabinets this size. What's noteworthy here in the 8000 series monitor isn't just to do with frequency response, but tone and timbre. You can actually discern the specific tone and characteristic of a bass instrument, rather than hearing mumbled generalities. The chassis, which is aluminium, is only four millimeters thick, which allows for a very large internal volume and deepens the bass response. In terms of build quality, well, it's strong and rigid as hell. Electronically, the monitors are active and bi-amplified, which means that they take mains power and both the tweeter and the woofer are driven by their own internal, individually matched amplifiers. These are chosen to drive them as efficiently and accurately as possible. In terms of reliability, every single Genelec monitor, not just random ones, every monitor is tested and calibrated at the factory in Isami, Finland before shipping. The 8000 series features overload protection circuits internally, which protect the drivers from damage. If you exceed the input volume accidentally, the monitor will gently attenuate the input and it will protect your workhorses. These are professional devices and they aim to keep you in business. Every part of the design is chosen in relationship to and complements the other, making for a low distortion, high efficiency monitor with neutral sound capable of high volumes reliably. Nothing in the 8000 design was arrived at by chance. Nothing is decided without great thought, extensive testing, and a belief that whatever makes the final design must truly make a difference to the customer and with good reason, since Genelec's designs are intended to last for decades. That's the S30. It was the first Genelec monitor, and it was in production for 14 years, and they still service it. I guess you could say they play the long game approach to monitor design, but it gives them the ability to maintain and produce reference class designs, which are relied upon, trusted, and continue to last the test of years. And when your monitors are the most important thing in your studio, why would you want anything else?